Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions for the SummerSlam 5-week contest, and it is Shawn Michaels' Rocker from The Rockers, uh, hitting a lot of people in the childhood nostalgia with this one. Uh, he is a focused new-gen striker. Coach at 15k received 20% less damage from a mobile gems. Link, new generation. I don't know why it's showing twice. Uh, gems do 10% more damage. And then just the one standard set of gear. Um, and I know with the introduction of him, his rockers persona, a lot of people are like, oh, we're going to get Marty Jannetty. Uh, don't get your hopes up. If you aren't sure why, just Google Marty Jannetty legal trouble or murder or, you know, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Anyways, I have at least three builds I want to test out for a uh, fourth build I want to talk about. Let's get right into it. First is available at three star. It is the finisher with double green finisher, of course, is sweet chin music 10 MP. Deal 146,798 damage and choose a 4x4 area to swap into blue gems. Uh, green 1, the arm drag, 3 MP. Deal 59,362 damage and choose 6 gems to make into black gems. And green 2, the elbow drop, 3 MP as well. Deal 60,070 damage plus 51,515 bonus damage for every black gem. So for this build, we're going full black gem focus. We've got Dude Love at 9k for 35% more damage to our black gems for the elbow drop plus an extra black gem. Uh, King Nakamura for a flat 2200. If you had Nikolai Volkov at, I don't remember if it's 5k or 9k, but he is the other 35% more damage trainer for black gems. Hall of Fame Brie for two more black gems. I finally got her 17k uh, and an extra 5%. And then Santa Hogan, just because my uh, boogeyman is level one still, so he'll only add 5%. We will use Santa Hogan to do 1100 flat. Uh, so as you can see, that went from 51,000 to 75,000. And if we take a look, uh, 12,800 up to 21,000. So definitely getting an assist from the entourage. And we haven't even looked at the belt. We haven't even looked at the belt. Uh, we're going full fury. Tried to look for black move, black gem substats. My black gem substats aren't the greatest. But we did want as much gem damage as possible. And for plates, I'm not using one. You could use the La Familia plate, uh, which is break blue, get green. So that would refill the green moves with the finisher. You could use the scimitars of the Sheik plate, which increases your green move damage every time you use a green move. Um, some lesser free-to-play options there. Um, could always do anything that's board destruction, two words for you, blue bomber, chaotic blast, uh, just to help blow up the board a little bit with the finisher. Um, and as you can see with our belt, we have this up to 104,000 per black gem. So it's doubled and then some. Uh, hoping this will be, you know, able to carve into the health a little quicker. Uh, gonna go against Ivar. And let's see what uh, our childhood dream boy, Sean, can do. We got the pyro, we got the tassels, we got the mullet. Let me know in the comments of this video how big a fan you were of Shawn Michaels' Rockers persona, if you were one at all. Always love to hear from you. So we're going to start with the arm drag. Now, what we're going to do is, um, this is probably going to be dumb. Pr 
probably going to be dumb. Um, I'm gonna try to play for this cascade on a on a five match because I am chaotic. Now put on your black gems. I'm gonna hit the elbow drop. Alternatively, you could use um, Alundra as a trainer for 50% more uh, chance of having black gems on the board. Um, NWO Big Show as a coach, I think, is the initial black gems. Anyways, we're going to take the swipe and pray for no double cascade. FML. Y'all saw what I was trying to do there, though. was trying to double stack those greens. Oh, he gave us a lot of pin bar. This might be doable. This might be doable. Mm, what do we got over here? Stop! It worked! See, if you just kick and scream, you'll get the desired result. Don't worry, the five star move is a lot better for this, but wanted to show what was available at three star. Use that to end the match. So you could get a little fancy with it and use the sheet plate. But there is another build for that. Alright, that is three star. Let's uh, switch focus, take a look at a four star build. Four star build brings in both of the blue moves, so we're going to run the finisher with the flying four arm smash, which is blue one, six MP, deal 78,434 damage, and increase your black MP by nine, and blue two, the diving elbow drop, six MP, deal 78,217 damage, and choose a 5x5 five five area to make into Multiply Gems of Strength 4. Now, I'm going to run this build twice. First time is going to be with a very basic, more easily obtainable entourage. Second build, um, I'm going to bring in Matt Hardy and some rarer coaches. Uh, so for now, Lawler for more blue MP, Acro Edge for 35% more blue gem damage. Uh, King Seamus for a flat 2200 to blue, Santa Hogan for a flat 1100 to all. I've rearranged a little bit of the belts to give us about 93% more damage um, to our blue gems. We got 7.2 there, we got the 11.3 there. Uh, but with this, um, increase uh, this to fill your finisher, put out your multiply gems, put the blue gems over them. It should be fairly straightforward. Again, no plate. If you had the Pyro Princess um, Flaming Glove plate, the one that you got one third of a shard for, um, that would be ideal for this build, but I don't have it. I don't know a lot of people that do have it. Not that you need the help recycling, so again, maybe some board destruction, maybe a cheap shop plate. Those would be decent options as well. So ready to go on turn one. Load the finisher. Diving elbow drop. Looks really good with the tassels, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, five by five, so I'm gonna go right in the middle here. And 
And comparison, we got 16,000 on the blue. 65,000 on the multiply. Uh, finisher, make a 4x4 four four into blue gems. We're going to try to connect as many blues as possible. Without covering up. Like, we could go here, but we're going to cover up 4. That only covers up 2 and connects to there. That only covers up 2 and connects to there. Yeah, let's go there. Nice cascade. So 1.76 on turn one with a very basic entourage. And then let's run that back with, you know, a different entourage just to see the damage potential we can get out of it. Alright, so take two with this build. I've taken out Edge, Seamus, and Santa Hogan. And brought in Matt Hardy for more Multiply Gem Strength, Hall of Fame China for 20% damage to blue, and Hall of Fame Snoop for 20% damage to blue gems. So we're losing, I think it was 16k? So we're losing a little bit with um, Edge being gone, but we'll make up for that with Matt Hardy. Yeah, 65,000 on the multiply gems before, so let's see what we can do here. And not a lot of blue gems. No, I did it backwards! Swag. That never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, okay. So. That. Never. Happened. Write it down in the notebook. It never happened. Um, okay. So 5x5 five five area to make into multiply gems of strength 6. I know I said I like to go in the middle, but... I see this nice little pocket here. No. No. Fuck it. Alright. So 13 and... So about 15k more on these multiply gems. And then finisher. I just want to cover up as many multiple gems as possible at this point. And hey, cascade for loot. So that should have been 1.89 on turn one. Which it was, because it never happened. Um, okay. Let's move forward and take a look at a five star build. Five star move is the teardrop suplex, which is three MP. And remember at the beginning when I did the three star build and said, don't worry, the five star move helps a lot. It helps a lot. Uh, so we're going to run that alongside double green. And basically what we're going to do is just make three matches and spam the chic plate and black gems everywhere and just completely chip away at the health. Um, so entourage for this. Bringing back Dude Love, bringing back King Nakamura, bringing back Hall of Fame Bree, and I'm tossing in Zombie Edge just because, like, I'm using a Sheik Plate, so might as well just go for it. Uh, get these up to 76,000. Choosing 9 to make into Black Gems, we only need to make a 3 match. Choosing 6 to make into Green, we only need to make a 3 match, so no sense in doing more Gem Generation for the Greens. 
reason we're doing it for the blocks is because we're going to scatter them around the board and do damage per. Um, so, Sheik Plates. Whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two total turns. Should be able to stack that a few times depending on the pin bar. And I've brought back some uh, black gem substats. There we are. So we've got those up to 32,000. We've got that move hitting for 105,000. And this should just be a fairly straightforward do your three match, damage per, three match, damage per, health is gone. So my tour perks have it, so these are all ready to go. 3 MP, 3 MP, 3 MP. So we got, we're doing uh, 51,000 on the greens. So choose nine to make into black gems. We are going to make a three match up here and hope that we don't cascade. And then we are going to start scattering. I mean, we didn't have to do it right away, but you know what I mean. Uh, damage per. So that's went from 51,000 to 111,000. Six gems to make into green gems. Again, only need a three match. So 169,000. Nine to make into black. I don't like that. So, I mean, I could cover it. So we're up into the 200-278. Pin bar was not helpful here. But we, what we can do is just put the green gems out to Cascade and break all the black gems and pin. Ta-da! So that could be fun. Um, not feud fast. I think in feud you'd want the double blue. Uh, but that could be fun for punching up if you have him under leveled. And you can just spam back and forth. Super fun. Super versatile. Okay, uh, one more build I want to talk about. Not necessarily try, but I want to talk about one more build. One more build that I wanted to take a look at, and it is the um, finisher, blue one, and black two, which is the spike pile driver, one MP, uh, deal 246,810 damage, and make 11 random botch gems into power gems of strength 31,226. So a one MP move that does almost 250k. Um, if there is a faction boss that spits out botch gems every turn, this could be your guy. This could be your guy. Um, and you could build that with, you know, Lawler to get that ready to go. You can basically go between these two to get pins, armor build, convert the botch gems to power gems, uh, Last Outlaw Taker, Riddle, Hall of Fame Nikki, um... Cheap shot plate, because they could, you know, do your power gem damage, and then cheap shot. You'd probably lose a bunch of your power gems, but that's an option. I don't see it really... I mean, you could... You could run it with the greens. A little more control. It's 1 MP. It's not like you need to worry about loading it. You don't even need to do the damage per uh, black gem. You could just do this. Spam over and over and trigger the power gems constantly. Uh, black percent metal. That could work just fine. But that concludes the preview on Rocker's Sean. Again, 
Focused, new generation striker, 15k ability, received 20% less damage from mobile gems, no links outside of new generation, no gear. Again, Marty Janetti, probably not happening. Google it. But let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Um, were you a big fan of Rocker Sean? How do you like his builds? How would you run him? Um, any other questions, comments, concerns, feedback? Let me know in the comments of this video. Always love hearing from you. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for being a friend. Deep, 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 deep.